एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In today's video we will be proving that the earth is rotating about its axis and simultaneously it is revolving around the sun. If you want to study this topic in detail refer to the book by S John Publishing. Link is provided in the description box. Hello everyone I am Anmol Bhatia and welcome to S John Academy. we are doing a course on engineering mechanics and in today's video we will be learning about a specific pendulum which is named as foucault pendulum so a foucault pendulum is particularly a kind of pendulum which resembles a simple pendulum but the only difference between the two is it has a bob of mass 30 to 40 kg and the length of the pendulum is around 70 to 80 meters that means it is a pendulum which is having a long length of the string and a heavy bob which is associated with the pendulum now what was the need of this pendulum uh, we know that the earth is rotating about its axis but how do we prove that the earth is rotating about its axis and also simultaneously the earth is revolving uh, around the sun so in order to prove that what we can say that let's say let us consider that this is earth and the earth is having a particular angular velocity which is omega and uh, we know that it is moving from the west part to the east part so the earth is rotating uh, about the axis from the west to the east and let's say this foucault pendulum is placed on the uh, the north pole of the earth and what happens if we place this pendulum on the surface of uh, the north pole so what will happen the pendulum keeps on rotating or keeps on moving like this because of the natural frequency that uh, it has and simultaneously it would cover or it would uh, deflect its path that means if the pendulum is rotating uh, like this the pendulum is rotating about its path like this so it would be diverting its path like it would be rotating like this at a particular period of time then it would be rotating like this then like this so it would be continuously changing its path because of the motion of the earth so what happens in this experimental situation the pendulum continuously moves at a particular uh, you can say uh, at a particular in a particular fashion and after a particular period of time it would rotate or it would shift its uh, position so how do we prove this mathematically so what happens here we have this time period so the time period is 2 pi over omega so the time period is denoted by this but there was an interesting thing in that experiment to note is that if the earth moves from west to east then the pendulum moves from east to west then that means it would be a negative uh, direction uh, with respect to the earth that means the time is uh, having a negative value that indicates that it is uh, having the negative fashion or it is having the negative uh, value uh, with respect to the earth so this is a interesting point to note in the foucault's pendulum situation so the case is when we have kept this pendulum on the north pole so it keeps on uh, changing its path but what happens if we keep this pendulum at a particular angle so let's say we have an angle which is lambda and at that particular angle we have kept this pendulum so what would happen we would look uh, at the situation mathematically so here what happens we have uh, the case of this omega so omega here would be uh, divided into two components one omega cos lambda i vector plus omega sin lambda 
j vector so this cos lambda component would be the horizontal component and omega sin lambda j would be the vertical component uh, which is due to that angular part which is there on the surface now what happens this omega cos lambda i part is not affected here or this is not an effective uh, component of this angular velocity because this is the part of this Coriolis force so this part can be neglected here so the only thing that comes here would be omega equals to omega sin lambda j so in place of this omega what we can substitute we can substitute this omega sin lambda that means t would be equals to 2 pi omega sin lambda you can also place negative here but the negative part only indicates the portion or the movement with respect to the earth so here we know that omega is 2 pi by t and t here would specifically indicate the time period of the rotation of the earth here we know that the earth complete one entire rotation for 24 hours so we can substitute here uh, 24 hours in place of the time so time would be uh, substituting this this value in that particular expression which is 2 pi over omega sin t so we have uh, omega which is 2 pi by 24 so what we can do we can substitute 2 pi by 24 in place of that expression so 2 pi and 2 pi gets cancelled out so we'll get the value of this time period as 24 over sine lambda here if we have to change the value of lambda that means if we are at this uh, pole let's say we have are at the north pole which is the topmost position so at that particular uh, position the value of this angle is 90 degree so what we can do we can substitute the value of lambda as 90 so we will get the time as 24 hours so that means this 24 hours would be exactly the same time of the earth uh, that the earth would uh, take to cover the entire uh, revolution so what happens here um, the pendulum would match uh, the frequency of the earth that indicates that if the earth is revolving around the axis that means the pendulum is also revolving around its axis and if this lambda is zero that means uh, we are at the equator so if this is let's say the earth and we are at the pole so at that particular location the time frame is 24 hours and if we are at the uh, equator that means the angle here is zero so the time period is infinity so it would uh, take the infinite time to complete that particular uh, rotations so coming to the definition of this Foucault's pendulum a uh, Foucault pendulum as I have already told you that this pendulum is similar to the simple pendulum in which it has a heavy bob the values I have already mentioned that uh, the value is around 30 to 40 kgs then what happens uh, that is carried out by a very long wire and that wire is suspended from a rigid support to have the equal uh, freedom of oscillations in any direction so that means it has uh, a heavy bob and a lengthy string and it is placed with the help of a support so as to support these equal uh, these freedom of oscillations in a particular direction so this is the case of the Foucault's pendulum the video that you are seeing on my right is the Foucault's pendulum in which you can see a heavy bob that is attached to the string and uh, when all these uh, nails are placed on the surface you can see the nails are falling down that means it is changing its path that means the bob is moving in a particular fashion then afterwards it would shift to a particular direction then again to a particular direction that means these nails are falling down when it got uh, when when the bob strikes on the surface of this uh, particular uh, nail we stop here for a short break after coming back from the break we will learn about some certain important questions which is based on Foucault's pendulum now quality learning is easily available at your doorstep. S. Chand Academy brings detailed lectures based on AICTE curriculum as per the New Education Policy 2020. 
So do not forget to subscribe to the S Chand Academy and access the wide world of knowledge conveniently sitting at your home. Stay connected and keep watching S Chand Academy. Happy learning. Welcome back after the break. Before going to the break, we have learned the concept of Foucault's pendulum and we have also seen the derivation associated with it. Now, in this part of the video, we will be learning about the important questions uh, based on Foucault's pendulum. Straight away, I am coming to the questions which are related to the Foucault's pendulum. So, I am reading this, I am reading the statement. The statement says that determine the time taken by the vertical plane of the Foucault's pendulum to complete one revolution. So the Foucault's pendulum is placed at three different locations. One is equator, another is 45 degree north and third one is the north pole. So before going to the break, we have learnt about this derivation and from this derivation we have seen that the time period associated with the Foucault's pendulum is 24 divided by sine lambda, where lambda is the angle associated. So, let's say if this is earth and the earth is rotated at an angular velocity of omega and uh, we have this place which is named as equator and let's say this angle is lambda and if I am placing this Foucault's pendulum that means I am placing it at that uh, particular location which is equator and at that particular uh, location this lambda part is 0. So if lambda is 0 so I need to substitute 0 in this particular expression. So T would be equal to 24 divided by 0 because sin 0 is 0 that means we will get the time period as infinity. So we will not keep this Foucault's pendulum at uh, this equator because it would have the infinite time to complete the entire revolution. The second case is uh, when this Foucault's pendulum is placed at 45 degree north that means if I am having the earth which is constantly moving with an angular velocity of omega and I have kept this Foucault pendulum at this location which is at 45 degrees. So this is placed at an angle of 45 degrees. So if it is placed at an angle of 45 degrees, so I need to substitute this angle which is lambda as 45. So substitute lambda as 45 on solving we will get this value as 33.9 hours that means it is more than the expected time so earth uh, completes uh, the same uh, distance in 24 hours but if we keep this uh, pendulum on at an angle of 45 degree it would cover the entire uh, rotations or the revolutions in 33.9 hours. Now the third case says that when it is placed at the uh, north pole. So what is this north pole? Let's say this is the earth and we place this Foucault's pendulum at the north pole and uh, at the north pole we have this angle which is 90 degree. So we have the angle as lambda as 90 degree that means we have to substitute lambda as 90 degree in this expression. So time period would be 24 divided by sin 90. So here sin 90 would be 1. So ultimately it matches with the time period of the earth. So this is the case and these type of uh, formula based questions are important from the point of view of examination. Now let us come to an objective type question. Uh, which is from the book and uh, this question says that which amongst the following is responsible for the plane of rotation of uh, the plane of oscillations of a Foucault's pendulum. So four options are mentioned centripetal force, 
viscous drag of air centrifugal force and coriolis force so i have told you that coriolis force is responsible for the plane of rotation of the plane of oscillations of this um, for called pendulum so coriolis force is the right answer for this particular question the next thing is uh, the question says that at what time that means time is required uh, for a Foucault pendulum to complete a round when it is at 45 degree north latitude on the north pole that means we are given with the angle so time period is required time period would be equal to 24 over sin lambda so here what we can do we can substitute lambda as 45 degree so after substituting lambda as 45 degree we will get this value as before so time period would be 33.9 hours so this completes the question then we have another uh, set of question that i have taken from the book uh, and the question says that with reference to the Foucault's pendulum consider the following statements so what is that statement statement number one says that the period of rotation of the Foucault pendulum depends upon the latitude of the pendulum and the length of the pendulum so this is the case when uh, i have told you that the length of the pendulum is having an important role uh, while deciding that uh, it has uh, same set of rotations as that of the earth and also the angle is having an importance uh, because in the previous examples we have seen that we have kept the Foucault's pendulum at the equator or we have kept the Foucault pendulum at uh, the north pole or some other uh, some other locations so lambda is very important that means this first statement hold true then the next thing is the pendulum works on the principle of conservation of linear momentum so linear momentum we have not talked about in this case of a called pendulum that means this second statement do not hold true and third statement it says that the longest Foucault pendulum is placed in the world is located in the National Museum of Natural History in Paris so this is uh, a general knowledge based uh, type of statement that uh, it is true that the Foucault pendulum which is the longest Foucault pendulum is uh, located in the National Museum of the Natural History in Paris so out of these which one is true so the one and three is true the second one is not true so this completes the question so coming to the end we have discussed about the Foucault's pendulum in which I have uh, told you about the particular derivation which is associated with the time period of the Foucault's pendulum and also we have discussed about certain questions which are important from the point of view of examination. If you want to study this topic in detail, refer to the book by F. John Publishing. Link is provided in the description box. If you found our video interesting, please like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.